<laughs> Hello and welcome back to Whiskey, me drinking whiskey. I am joined here today with famous Irish men. Mr. Penis Face. It's me. <laughs> Your real name this time. I know. Out of character. Today we're going to drink some whiskey and we're also shooting in front of a live audience. <laughs> wow, first time ever. So since you're Irish, uh, yeah. obviously. We're alcoholics. <laughs> Well, and also, we're gonna drink some Irish whiskey. Oh, that's where you're going with it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, one thing that kind of unifies Irish whiskey is um, it's not very peaty. It's not? It's not very peaty, which is uh, contrary to what you, the whiskey you gave me, yeah. which is very peaty. I thought that was like the only thing it had. No, it's actually the opposite. So, Irish whiskey typically, you, you don't want to drink with like ice or anything like that. Oh, you want okay. to drink it straight up because it's already very light and very nice. Oh. Well, we'll see about that. Okay, we'll see. Well, why don't we start with the Jameson? Ah, oh, the classic. This is one of the most famous whiskey brands of all time. Do you it guys is. recognize the Jameson? Mm-hmm. This is like the cheap one that you it's mix with It's the one with where you mix it with ginger ale, typically. Yeah. I'm just going to pour a little bit because we have a lot of whiskey to go through. Apparently, James Jemison. Jemison, yeah. Jemison. People call him the Chuck Norris of whiskey. I don't know why. They just think he's a badass. He apparently he's a Scotsman. Oh, fraud. Yeah, but fake. He, he moved into Ireland to do this uh, distillery. He had to learn how to spell it a different way then. I don't know. <laughs> it's Jemison. Why don't we just drink <laughs> it? Cheers. But what do you say in Ireland? Slauncha. Slauncha board, I went there. Oh my. Slauncha board at a 50 year old. It's not good to have a joke. I like it. It's just like whiskey. Why don't we step it up a notch? I, this one I know nothing about. Well, as an Irishman, I can tell you, it's the Irishman. The Irishman. <laughs> <laughs> it's not very expensive. I made this one. Oh my god. I'm the Irishman. Oh no. Why, why did they do that? Oh, Edgar's gonna eat these. <laughs> why does anybody pack anything with these? It's so annoying, right? <laughs> oh my god. T tell, tell us what you smell, Felix. Uh, vanilla top note. <laughs> That's a very easy to drink whiskey. So kids out there, if you want to get oh into whiskey. Oh my god, yeah, you're right. Start with the Irishman. That's, that was, a, that's like a kid's whiskey. Yeah, well, yeah, that was nice. Next up, we have the whiskey that the you- The O'Connemara! The O'Connemara! You gifted me this whiskey. I did. Oh, this is the cheaper version. Yeah. It's still nice stuff. Connemara. Fun fact, Connemara is one of the places in Ireland that still speaks very heavy Gaelic. This is the last thing I drank before I got stomach flu. Stomach sickness. Oh, yeah. And after it, I was just like, I couldn't drink whiskey for so long. You, okay. ru you ruined it for me. So this one might mess you up. And this one also is, comes packed with the... God What's damn. wrong with Irish people? So this one is peated. Yeah. So why don't you tell everyone about peated whiskey? Peat. Well, peat or turf. Do you know what peat is? Yeah. But I like... used to live next to it. Oh. <laughs> I used to live next to a bog in log cabins. So right next to my house is a peat bog. So it's basically like... Dirt. De de yeah, decaying dirt. Yeah. 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 It's like what you dig up to burn in your fire. Well, let's have a little, let's go with the Glen Limit. The fancy ones. Yeah, so these are made so that you can smell it better. Oh, sorry. We're doing this, apparently. No, it's to in Mr. invoke the flavors. Mr. Science over okay, here. Okay, you have, <laughs> all right, you know what. Mr. Fancy. Okay, we want to shoot See, it See, Irish people just drink it. <laughs> That's good. I like that one. <laughs> no. I like that one. It's a lot more flavor than yeah. the other ones. I don't know if you, you can drink too much of it though. It's nice. I do like it. If you prefer like smoky type, it's good. It's bolder. It's bolder. Has a bit of body to it. What's the next, Felix? Uh, we'll you got your whiskey. Uh, hey, girl. I didn't know you smelled this nice. <laughs> Look at this fancy box, by the way. Mm -hmm. Teeling. So Irish whiskey did really badly for a long time. It used to be super popular, and then it did really badly, and this is the first distillery in Dublin that opened in 125 years. Uh, oh wow. Oh wow, you get a certificate as well? I guess, From yeah. Jack Teeling. Jack Teeling has signed this whiskey. Thank you, Jack. This is a crazy bottle, by the way. Look at this. It's very clear. 1999. It's 14 years old. I'm gonna, I'm gonna swirl the glass. I don't know if you know this. Yeah. I'm gonna swirl the glass because it invokes the smell. Well, yeah, well, the thing is, because 
it's been in there for a long time. <laughs> and you want to, you know, the thing goes on top. So you want to mix it. So you, it doesn't all, I think at least, I don't know. I don't know. It, it smells, smells like, like something and I don't know what it is. It's kind of hard to describe. I would say like a manly perfume. I don't know, let's just drink it. Okay, <laughs> bottoms up. That's a weird one. That's very different from the others, yeah. It kind of bounces on your mouth. It bounces all around in my mouth right now. The mouth. My mouth. <laughs> it's very different. Ooh. Very nice. Is that it? No. We <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> you just looked at me like, okay, what next? Red breast. Oh, I Which is a bird. Yeah. You heard of this one? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. This is when you want to do this. <sighs> Weird with water. And taste that strong. Maybe put too much water. Yeah, I think you took put too much water. Yeah. I like how I said we and then he said you. Because you did. <laughs> yeah, you put too much water. You kind of ruined it, and I think everyone's gonna get pissed at us. Okay. Now. Um. Thanks. I have been Jack Uh See you later. There's more whiskey, Jack. Come back. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't say that. Fine. This one was the uh, most expensive one. Well, I don't really know what it is. So it's made by the whiskey agency, which okay, I okay. imagine it's just like a group of people who's, they're bottling what they like to drink. Distilled in Ireland, aged 27 years, distilled. That's as old as I am. Yeah, that's pretty cool. You know what they say, you know? You, it's a privilege to drink a whiskey as old as you are. Okay, <laughs> this is a- <laughs> Whoa! His last month. That's just like all of a sudden like, like pierced my nose. I don't feel it. <laughs> Too much mustache, it's blocking it. <laughs> it's filtering it out. No, it's very nice. So what I'm told you can do, is you get a, like a couple drops of water, and that will make the chemical reaction of the whiskey go, and it will hit your tongue more of the flavor. <laughs> <laughs> I think I formulated that sentence quite eloquently. Thank you very much. <laughs> wow. Oh, my God. Ooh. That's like the teeling one, but like... Oh, I like that one. Way stronger. Damn. The fruit, it's, already, it's so damn, it bites you, man. It's almost like it hits your tongue and then just like spreads out. Damn. I like that one a lot. It's like being stung by a bee. That was worth the price, I would say. That was definitely the best one. That's a strong whiskey. I shouldn't have poured so much of that. Yeah, I'm not drinking the rest of that. But I just did. So fruity, but it's even though it's so strong, it still has the flavor. So it sort of contrasts that it has so much alcohol in it. That was it. That's it? That was it. Just I'm... kidding! We have one more. I was just about to say, that was a good one to leave off on. We have. Oh my god, this looks like moonshine. This whiskey is, this is like covered vintage. In, covered in dust. It's covered in dust. Guess how old it is. I don't know. Well, the other one was 27 years, so I'm assuming it's more than that. Okay, give me a give me a number. Come on. Th 35. Okay. Well, anyone in the audience want to guess? Well, I don't know. Okay, well, then you, you don't guess. I want to say 48. 30 something as well. 30 something. I was going to say 50. 50. I was going to say 50 originally, but I thought that was too high. Any other guesses? 75. It's 100 years old. What? It's from 1920, so it's almost 100. Jesus. I don't know. If I'm supposed to open it, because it's kind of like, is that what you do, or do you just keep it, or like... I, whiskey channels, you're the one who watches that's, them. Well, that's the thing, I don't know. I've never seen anyone have like a really, really, really old whiskey. The 70 proof as well. Are we going to die drinking that's, a whiskey That's basically like absinthe. Do it. What's that, PJ? <laughs> I said do it. It's your birthday. Whiskey might as well be your death day as well. Whiskey is for drinking, right? Yeah. Oh, oh no. Oh. Fuck. Did the cork rot away? Yeah. Oh. It just, oh my god. I barely put any pressure on that. And yeah. I should have thought about it before I did it. What's the point of having that old whiskey if you can't even open it? It says 70 proof on it. This is way older than some of us combined in the room. This smells like someone's burnt down house. Doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. It smells like a burnt down house. It's cool, it's cool. It's what, do you, what are you saying? It's launching. It's launching. Oh, 
that's very strong. It's good though. It tastes like my granny's house. <laughs> I'm surprised how well it tastes. It's actually really good. That's probably the best one out of all of them so far. I don't... It's actually very nice. Yeah. yeah. What the... How is that possible? I'm glad. I, 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 I expected poison, but it, it, was, <laughs> it was actually really good. It turns out they knew what they were doing a hundred years ago. It turns out they knew what they were doing. Where Irish whiskey is on the, it's on the rise, man. Do you, do you like it more than Japanese whiskey? No. No, no, no. Japanese whiskey is the best. Really? It's the best. There's a pub in Ireland that's like from 900 AD. That's ridiculous. And it's called Sean's Bar. Hey! And we used to live very close to it. <laughs> and it's right next to a castle. Well, thank you for joining me on this Irish special no episode. Problem. And uh, I don't really have an outro. Do drugs, kids. Don't do drugs. Drink whiskey, kids. Don't Only if it's 100 years old. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye.